So, good evening, good evening, everybody. We are back again, and StreamYard is still taking the mick. I literally said, so we are back again, back again, and then it started time. I'm seriously getting the ump with this, man. It's fucking the videos up, if I'm honest. But anyway, uh, we move. Uh, big up to everyone subscribed. Big up to everyone who shares these around. I can see how many people share these videos. It is insane, the level of interaction. If you haven't checked out the last two, Spoke about James Madison, 200 grand a week deal. Dropped that at 5 p.m. And I spoke about a war. Who's a war? And uh, Manuel Locatelli. I did that about midday, one o'clock this afternoon, something like that. Go and check them two out. Also, don't forget, go and check out the vlog channel. I dropped the vlog at 8 p.m. tonight. So you can see what I get up to, where I live, what I'm doing on a daily basis. So keep your eyes peeled for all of them. Go and subscribe. Over 4,000 of you have subscribed. It has been lit so far. So, yeah, man, I'm really enjoying doing that at the moment as well. So thank you very much. But let's go. Granite Xhaka, is it done? Isn't it done? One report says it's done. Then it's not done. Then it's done. Then it's not done. How hard is it to sell this guy, by the way? Um, me personally, I think it's been done um, for about two, three weeks. I'd say probably around the middle of the Euros, I'd say the deal's actually fully been done. Um, obviously, he went away on holiday, and that's why it's not gone through. We were waiting for Lukonga to actually be done properly. And then, obviously, Granit Xhaka can then move on out the club. Uh, Fabrizio Romano has tweeted out today um, saying the same, really, that you know um, it's, it's very close to being done. We're not a million miles apart, and um, he fully expects that to be... Uh, picking up traction, should I say. But listen, I personally think that deal is a done deal. And I've said that for maybe a week and a half now. I've done a video saying he's leaving, he's gone, it's done. Because all the reports coming out of Italy said it was done. So like, look, at the end of the day, can only go off what people are writing and putting out to the media. Um, I know there's a lot of people that just write absolute dross. Um, I'm not gonna name which, which companies, I think we all know who they are. But at the end of the day, Fabrizio is quite reliable, let's be honest here. Um, normally spot on with pretty much everything he says. And uh, he says that it does look like it's um, it's going to happen at some point. But now Lokonga's in, it could speed up and it could be done. So listen, let's hope he is going, man. Like We've got Lokonga in. He looks uh, a good player, to be fair. I'm not going to overhype him straight away like most of our fans have. But I'm going to back him, see what he can do. And... Um, you know, when you're getting Vincent Company coming out saying he's a great player and he's a mix of Vieira and De Bruyne and this and that, like it's a bit of a uh, bit of expectation on him. <laughs> like, I can understand why everyone's getting hyped about him, but let's just wait and see. I don't think he'll be a first team regular. I think he'll be um, in and out the team over the course of the season. But that's obviously why we're looking at uh, Locatelli or Awa or both. So, um, so yeah, Granite Jack has surplus to requirements. He wants to leave. The fees around 17 million quid, which is probably more than he's worth because he's crap. But at the same time, um, that covers the cost of Lukonga. So all in all, that's good business. We've got one Herbert out the club who ain't no good. We've got over 100 grand a week off the wages. The money we're getting is paying for the new boy and we've saved on wages. That's great business from Arsenal Football Club. Somebody clip that because that was me being positive about the club because apparently I'm only negative. Uh, so somebody clip that. And uh, send that all around your socials, your mother. Yeah, I'm not going to say the rest. But let me know what you think about this. Because like, like I said, these transfers just bang on and on and on and on. And they go on for weeks and weeks and weeks. Is he coming? Isn't he coming? Do you personally think this deal's done? Do you think it is going to happen? Um, or do you just think that this is just a load of tosh and uh, everyone's just being strung along? Like I said, I think he's gone. Jose wants him. He wants to leave. He's dropped hints about Rome and it's a beautiful city and blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, good riddance to bad bad news, man. Um, I want to move on to two other players as well. Uh, Joe Willock, um, linked again with Newcastle. That's been banging on for weeks and weeks and weeks as well. Look, at the end of the day, Joe Willock, um, Mikel Arteta came out and said the other day that he's part of the plans. But he said he's part of the plans for now and blah, blah, blah. He's in the team and this and that. Joe Willock ain't going to be here by the end of this transfer window, in my opinion. I do think he'll go to Newcastle. I don't know why these deals take so long. The same with the Xhaka one. The same with um, other deals. The Lukonga one 
we knew for a couple of weeks he was coming. Same with Tavares. I don't know why they take so long to announce everything. Maybe it's all the behind-the-scenes stuff with the photo shoots and the, the statement that they want to put out, the interview. I don't know. Yeah, the one thing I do know is um, Joe Willock wants to leave to go to Newcastle. Uh, that's quite obvious because he ain't going to get a game at Arsenal. I think he's probably been told he ain't going to get a game at Arsenal, which is why he probably wants to leave. Um, Newcastle won him. He's bagged goals up there. They'll idolise him. He went in and hit the ground running like a duck in water. Bosch straight in. Goals for fun. Equal cheer as record. And, um, and yeah, and if he does go, which I think he will, good luck to him because... It's a shame that it's gone for him at Arsenal. I do think there's a talent in there somewhere, just um, not consistent enough. But we could have given him a chance last season. But again, let me know what you think of that. Leave that in the comment section. Do you rate Joe Willock? Do you think he should stay? Do you think he's leaving? If so, is it Newcastle? Last but by no means least, Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Another one. DJ Khaled voice. Another one. Uh, linked with a move to Palace. Obviously, Patrick Vieira is the manager now. And um, 20 million quid we rejected from Wolverhampton Wanderers, only to then keep him in the club and then loan him to West Brom. Like, what is that all about, by the way? Um, but if we can get around 20 million quid for him and Crystal Palace want him, another one. Get rid. Like, I like him. I think he's a really good player. I don't think he's that great in midfield. I don't think he's got the passing range for that. He's got the energy. Don't get it twisted. But the passing range ain't there. And I don't think he's capable of doing that on a regular basis. I'd play him at right back. I'd keep him and play him at right back. That saves us money on a right back because we can get rid of that fashion Easter at right back. Put him in at right back. We've got a competent right back there. You know, then we could um, have Cedric as backup. So that's what I would do. But Crystal Palace linked heavily with a move to, uh, for Maitland-Niles. Like I said, good luck to him if he goes to Palace. I really want to see him do well. Love Maitland-Niles to bits. I think he's quality at right back. And again, another one that has been absolutely messed around by this manager um, by not playing him. By playing him, then not playing him. Like, just make your mind up, mate. You either rate him or you don't. And then when you get offered money for him, you reject it. And then he sits on the bench all season. And then you loan him out. So backwards, it's mad. But there we go. Leave your thoughts in the comments on that one. Let me know what you think. On all of them stories, Granite Xhaka, um, Joe Willock and Maitland-Niles, leave it all down below. Let me know your thoughts and feelings on that. I will be back again tomorrow with another free uploads. We're fully flat out at the moment. Um, so, yeah, keep sticking likes and shares on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you follow the vlog channel. I appreciate everyone who's done that so far. Road to 5K is on on that channel. So, come on, let's get that boxed off. The link is in the description for that. And uh, I'll be vlogging every day, but dropping the vlog every other day. So... I will move on to daily vlogs at some point um, in the near future, maybe next month or the month after. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be sick. And uh, big up to all of you that have showed mad support, man. Over 2,000 subs in about 10 days. So, yeah, it's been crazy. So thank you very much. All have a blessed evening, whatever it is you're doing. And I'll be back again tomorrow. We're out of here. I'll tear her out.